Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K, although I think this might have worked on 16K. Anyway, this game is Centropods, published by Rabbit Software in 1983, a game that's also available on the Commodore 64. You might have already guessed. It's an arcade port unofficial of the Atari game Centipede from 1981. There's three controls, it says here. OP, left and right, and A to fire. It says press O and P at the same time to go up. I would have preferred an up key, but anyway, we'll see how this one plays. But essentially, you've got to shoot a centipede through this mushroom forest, shoot all the segments, avoid spiders, and you're there. So I'm that red thing down the bottom. All oh, right, and this thing's coming down at me, a bit like Space Invaders. If it collides into me at any point, up. If it collides into me at any point, then we're d d uh, killed. Oh, it's a bit of inertia. So if your own play goes up, you take your fingers off those, and it'll drop back down again. Shoot all the segments and avoid. Oh, it looks like that spider that comes down uh, the blue one puts up extra uh, mushrooms. It's a mushroom layer. Avoid that magenta spider. It's moving quite quick. It goes ever so slightly slower and more stuff's on the screen. Not by much though, and it's a little bit flickery, and I've died. Uh, lives in the bottom uh, right there, four left. If you had this game back in the day, let me know, but it seems to be representing Centipede quite well at the moment. I've already reviewed uh, Centipede on the Atari 2600. Uh, it was all right on that, on that, so you can go up or down uh, with the controls. It weren't like an inertia drop, but the mushrooms were a bit poor because they were just horizontal straight lines. This has got more of a mushroom sort of field. I'll be interested to see if it changes colours for any bit, so I've got off the first one. And it's, that's a lot of mushrooms, lad. When you shoot a uh, um, centipede segment, it turns into a mushroom, and the uh, the centipede can bounce off that. I think I'm letting the screen fill up with too many mushrooms, to be honest with you. Um, maybe I should just keep my finger on the fire button to do rapid fire. That might help a bit. So you need to do a lot of shooting, and you need to act really quick. You need to, if possible, stop that centipede going down the screen at this sort of speed. I'm having big bubba here. Centropods. Good. You might have had this on the C90 tape. If you did that sort of thing, I know I didn't. I'm not illegal. Uh, yes, here we go. I'm not sure if there's any other conversions of Centipede on the ZX Spectrum. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. Although we've reviewed over 1,000 uh, Spectrum trips. There, there, there. We haven't reviewed any of them. There, there. Although we've reviewed over 1,000 ZX Spectrum games now, I don't think we've reviewed any Centipede sort of like games. As you can tell, <laughs> this, these, this commentary is put on live. If you want to do a boo boo, I might have to try and correct it. Anyway, two stages done. Hooray! Now, thank you to all the subscribers who have stayed with me for this journey, uh, all the way up to a thousand and beyond. Thank you. Without you, it would not have been possible. And also, the members. Without you, it wouldn't have been super possible. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It's a big help to the channel to try and get noticed, even now, as we slowly grow. And man, it is slow. Um, and also, huge thank you to the members there. It was, well, we're making it possible for you to do anything, really. Uh, especially pay electricity. Um, if you want to be a member, it's not compulsory by any means. The, uh, the channel's here to try and defeat stress. If it's doing that for you, then a big hooray. You are doing much better than you think. I know this. You know this. We all know this. Um, yeah, so if it's beating stress for you, that's great. If you want to be a member, though, uh, quite cheap to start off with, if you want to stand on the bottom tier, uh, then click on the join button below this video. Hooray! Right. Keep going, Nick. Keep shooting on. A what? Now I've got killed by a blooming magenta spider. What's going on there? I'll have a few goes of this game, but it doesn't look like it's going to change colour, which is a bit disappointing. The Atari 2600 one did uh, change colour when you got onto different uh, stages. This one looks like it's going to get may maybe gradually quicker each time without doing anything different, which, which they could have easily changed the border or the aliens. If if they do eventually change, once you get to level 20 or something, because I, I probably won't get there because this is my first go, then let me know in that comment section uh, below. These views aren't about great gameplay, about seeing how you'd have got on with the game on your first or second go, and would have been enough there if you were to go and play it again. Well, I would have played this uh, again a lot because it's easy to understand. It's a good represent. Oh my god! It's a good representation of Centipede, and you know it does what it says on the tin. There was a sequel. I'm not sure if it came out on the ZX Spectrum called Millipede, but I know that may have come out on the Atari 2600. So we'll have to catch up with that one at some stage. A big hooray for us! Now, if, if you want to see, if you're having a bit of a binge, you're feeling a bit down. I, I can try and lift you up. Um, there's a lot of ZX Spectrum games on the channel, as I said. If you want to know how to get there, they're all in a playlist along with a, lover, a load of other systems. But uh, if you want to go to the ZX Spectrum playlist, you click on my username. Look at these boys. Click on my username, uh, and then that takes you to the channel page. Click on the playlist tab. I think across the top of the things, they're dying again. And ZX Spectrum will be there along with a, lover, a load of other systems. It's bound to be a game that you've played before. Now, as I'm explaining that, I keep bumping into a magenta spider. If you're bumping into a magenta spider, then comment in the comment section below. What the hell is going on? 
Centipede, centropods. What is a centropod? Well, it's a part of the centipede, I presume. Um, these are all parts of the centipede. Notice, though, uh, on this, it, they all look the same like Space Invaders. There's no head on this centipede. They're just all different segments, unless I'm missing something. Oh, mushroom layers. Oh, dear. Game over. <laughs> You've got to watch your mushrooms. Don't eat the wrong one, because you could either hallucinate or die. Uh, up some others are medicinal, but don't go picking your own mushrooms unless you know what you are doing. Yes. So give me some tips for this game. I know I shouldn't let the screen fill up with mushrooms. I should try and uh, shoot those as much as possible. Because um, the more mushrooms that this centipede bumps into, the quicker it's descent into the bottom of the screen. Oh, go away, you boom. These spiders are distracting. Bip, 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 bip. You get enough lives on this game, it's fairly kind to the uh, newbie. But you'd be up and running quite quickly. So it's a bit of back in the day, 1983. It would have been a bit of classic arcade gaming on your own television. Back in a point where it was amazing even controlling tape on your TV. Uh, that wasn't a TV programme. 1983, great. I would have played this loads. It'd be interesting to see what the Commodore 64 version plays like. Whether it has different uh, colours there. So I might have to queue that up for some time in the future. I can't queue it up in the past. Time time doesn't really work like that. It's, it's a strange dimension. Uh, unless unless you've cracked time travel, then comment below and I'll, I'll do it in the in the purse. Right. I'm trying to destroy these mushrooms to create a bit of space. That might be a good system. When I've only got one left, I can maybe clear a bit of the screen space. Well, as long as the spot... Yeah, this is, a, this is a good cheat to actually score loads of points, really. Just keep one left at the end, because there's no timer running. Yeah, if you wanted to cheat and get a high score... I've messed that up. If you want cheat and get a high score, just keep doing the shooting the mushrooms and shooting the spiders. I wonder, I wonder if this game crashes and the whole screen fills up with mushrooms. Possibly. There might be a way... Is there a way of just building it so they all come in single file, these enemies? Uh, and then you can just blast them all in one go. That might be a hell of a cheat. I'll have to see if I can try and sort that out at some point. Yeah, bib -bib -bib. If you are a centipede, comment below. Is, you, is this the sort of problem you have? I don't know what this thing fire... We're controlling the red thing firing, but I don't know what, exactly what that is. Maybe it's another centipede. It's a centipede from another dimension. Right, there we go. Two left. Last one. Good. As you've noticed, when the centipede gets to the bottom, it's a good bit then to do your, your up your up button. Well, P and O together, there is no up button. Right, come on then. Let's try and get the sweet spot of this always green centipede. It's sort of like filing this. Oh, look at that. It's right down the bottom. Right, up. Let's try and avoid this. Try and get a bit lucky. That spider's going to be a bit of a problem. The spider can go through mushrooms. Oh, look, I'm trapped here. I'm getting gap. There we go. Drop, drop, drop. Yeah, kaboom. Right, okay, I'm playing like an expert now, am I? No. Well, I'm not dead. How am I not dead here? Up. See, the only thing we're doing P and O together to go up is it's a bit slow reaction. Why didn't they put Q as up? That would have been so much better. Q up, A down. Maybe that would have made it too easy. But anyway, it makes it makes the game unique, I suppose. As I said, the Atari 2600, you had an up and a down button. This is just up and then fall back down again with O and P. Right, I'm losing lives quite quickly here. Uh, right. How long have I been playing this game? I tend to I tend to try and make reviews last about ten minutes. Some some are easier than others. So the easy ones they tend to go on forever. But uh, you know that's the sort of thing. I n none of this is scripted. I don't know how long it's going to last. Really, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what the gameplay is going to be. I've just written a few basic notes. Who made it? The year and what else it came out on and a few other bits. That's it. It's all written on a bit of cardboard here. That's how high tech that is. And also, the light's not very good in this room, so I'll have to angle it. No wonder I'm going blind. But I can still shoot the hell out of this centipede. Oh, look at that! Right, that's that's what you do. Get it in a sort of like a line, and you can blast them all in a row. Right, okay, I don't know how I did that, but hopefully I can do it again before I got bopped. Bopped by one part of the centipede. Right, um... Oh, one last go. One, la one last go. You can't have different difficulty levels on here, so I think, from looking at it, you shoot all the bits, all the centipede, and then it goes quicker on the next level, but apart from that, it all seems a bit the same. Uh, the problem is, as I say, the screen filling up with uh, mushrooms. Don't let that happen. I'm glad that isn't my heart monitor. Don't know what TV program I'll have to be watching for that to be happening. Right. Uh, one. Is he going to jump up? Yes. Come on, die, centipede. How can a centipede exist on one pod? Come on, get in the way of my firing. Good. I think that's like a, a tongue, that thing's fun. Maybe it's a snake at the bottom. 
right now. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna funnel down here. Come on, funnel. Come on, lads. Uh, they, they seem to reach the bottom a bit quicker than another version I played. Well, the Tide Twisted Andrew, that's the only version. Well, I played a few compil, I think I played a compilation version. Was it on the Super Nintendo or the Mega Drive? It was on one of those. Check the playlist there. Thank you, people watching the old videos as well. I, well, I do get notifications and comments on those. I commentate on. Uh, well, I respond to quite a lot of them. I, I, I know that that sort of thing creates activity on the channel. So I'm, I'm more than grateful. If you've watched this far in, if you're one of these people that watches the whole video, then thank you very much. So YouTube factoring, what percentage has been watched? When did people leave? I don't know, and all that sort of stuff. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh, that's what I wanted. Hey, if they go right, if they go down there again. I'm, I'm quids in, aren't I? Look, let's just dig a hole there. Come on, lads, in there. Yes. Well, they went a different way. That's. Oh, this is. Uh, oh, this is easy if you can sort that out. I think I've just found a cheat. I did. I did suspect it a bit early on. They're going to keep. But look, look how much the screen's filling up now. Come down this line. Oh, look. Hoisted by my own petard, if that is the phrase. Oops. Right, I'm trying to trying to be a bit clever here, but they're coming at me at. They're coming at me at lightning speed. Centipedes, they move a bit quick. Oh, look at that. And I've lost a few lives in a very short space of time. Well, I really like that. That's a pretty good conversion. Although the colours don't change, I can let it off. It's a good representation, and it's in 1983, so fair enough. Uh, good. I highly recommend that one. So, hope you like having a look at that game. Uh, Centropods, published by Rabbit Software in 1983. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. Of course, it's based on the Atari cabinet for uh, Centipede from 1981. So, till next time, take great care of yourself. And a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.